everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to talk about something kind of fun here. I'm going to talk about the different colors that hens lay and the reason for the different colors. You know, long before I had any chickens, I thought that there was just white and brown and I didn't realize how many different colors and variations there actually are. So, how do the eggs get different colors? Well, it's based on a hen's genetics. The mom hen and the dad rooster that that chicken came from. It is actually a myth, maybe you've heard before, that brown eggs are healthier than just plain white eggs. There is no truth to that. Actually, all eggs go through the hen's oviduct in the same way and have the same nutritional value and they actually all start off white in the hen system and the color gets added as the pigments get deposited on the egg as they pass through the oviduct. So the only way that you would actually get a healthier egg than a regular egg would be to add vitamins and omega-3s to your hen's diet. Now, um, some eggs are speckled and some are not. The speckling on an egg, and I have a couple here. I have a little white one here with some pigment speckles on that there. That's just a deposit of color is all that is on there. And sometimes you might see raised bumps, raised white bumps on eggs. Those are just extra calcium deposits that the hen has put on there as she's developing the egg, showing you that you definitely have enough calcium in their diet because an eggshell, of course, is completely made of calcium. So, that being said, if you have a soft-shelled egg or a completely shellless egg, it's important to add the calcium. I mentioned that in a couple of my other videos, either by using oyster shell or by adding this right here. I get it from Tractor Supply. I like to put this in the water if I have an issue like that because that way I know that they're getting the calcium. Sometimes I put the calcium um, oyster shells out and I'm not certain that they're eating enough of that. So by using the liquid, you can be sure that they're actually getting the calcium. So I'm going to show you the different colored eggs that I have and kind of explain what breeds of chickens lay what colors and sometimes it's fun if you can hatch your own eggs with different breeds and see what colors you end up with as well. So these are some of the eggs that I collect from my hens and some of these aren't chicken eggs actually but I just wanted to show you what they look like. This is a turkey egg most of my turkey hens lay the speckled eggs like this. And here's a different one. Sometimes they have the calcium deposits on their eggs as well. And I have a cute little quail egg here. You can see the size difference. They are so tiny, but they're really pretty. Really pretty quail eggs. Some of these eggs actually are a bit older and I I blew them out. There's holes in the bottom because <laughs> I wanted to keep them. So I don't remember which hen laid this egg right here. There's speckles on that one too. This one is almost like a tan color. Here you can see that one. I marked that one because I thought it was so pretty. That actually came from one of my hens that is half silky and half Bantam Phoenix. We call her <laughs> the five-toed wonder. She's in my mixed breed chicken video. There's gorgeous chickens in that video. I recommend watching that. If you're curious what that hen looks like, that's half silky, half phoenix. She's in that video. She's actually quite gorgeous. 
this is just a standard white colored egg, probably from my um, Wyandots out there. And then the shades get darker, and there's actually a chart. There's an egg chart that rates the variations of darkness. I will show you some eggs from some black copper marans that are about an 8 or 9 on the darkness scale. And this one right here is one of my blue eggs. Now those came from one of my crested leg bar hens. I have two of them and I do have a video on crested leg bars. And they're a mixed breed of chicken, which gives the blue egg. Now, I have two of them, like I mentioned. So, actually, both of them lay just a little bit, slightly different shade of blue. Their eggs are usually this size here. These are just small because I kept them from the first egg that they laid for me out there. And then this one right here is going to be from a Rhode Island Red. And we have another speckled variation here. Kind of a darker tan. And this one is an olive color. That came from my olive egger hen. The one that um, actually attacked one of my other birds. She wasn't very nice. Actually, I did end up rehoming her. So unfortunately, I won't be having any more olive colored eggs. But that is what those look like here. Most of these lighter, smaller colored ones are from my Silkies. And from a Bantam Dominique hen. And from my Bantam Phoenix birds as well. Now, if you take a bird that's, say, like a, an Americana that lays a blue egg, and you cross it with a bird that's a tan layer, like one of these, this is a light brown, this is more of a tan, those two there, so that would be Maybe the dad, um, that breed lays blue eggs, and then maybe the mom is the, the tan layer. Then you end up with an Easter egger. So that hen would lay like a light green color, or many different shades of eggs come from Easter eggers. I actually have somebody that sent me a picture of some eggs from an Easter egger that are almost like a light purple color. I'll show you those here. So how you would get the olive egger would be a dark brown egg with a blue gives you the olive egger. So that's how you would get the greenish colored eggs. Now if you take an olive egger hen and breed back to the dark brown again, you can get a darker olive color. So if you did this, dark with dark, you could get a darker green color. You can get many different shades of green and like I said it's kind of fun if you can to you know breed your own with different colored of eggs and see how they turn out. I've got a couple um, hens out there that I just had on a video that are half Svarthona and half Americana and I'm really interested to see what color of eggs those turn out to be. Now you might have heard at one point or another that the I am Somani's, the all-black chicken that has all-black organs and black skin and black feathers, that they lay black eggs. This is actually a myth. That is not true. The I am Somani's lay a light 
um, brownish colored egg. It's, you know, some birds as they get older, the coloring can change a little bit, but they do not lay black eggs. I'll actually show you a picture. Um, I talked to several people who breed these birds and they all confirmed no black eggs. I'll show you a picture of one of their hens here laying on a clutch of their eggs. So the only bird that I know of that lays black eggs is there's actually a breed of duck that lays a black colored egg. So um, those are the different color variations that I have here and um, I showed you a few other colors as well. So that's about it for me. I like to see all these different colors and see what's out there in the egg boxes. Right now it's getting pretty cold out though so I don't have as many eggs. So as always, thanks so much for watching. I would appreciate it very, very much if you would share the channel and subscribe.